we really go back this way? Yeah. Shh. Ambient noises. It's just ambient noises. Oh! Oh! Somehow one of them found a way down. Freaking Hammond, bro. All right, we're in one of the most memorable areas right now. Shush. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I knew you would come. Just like you said. I, I saved this for you. How do you see me? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Two thousand eight physics, man. You gotta love them. <laughs> uh, small med pack. Yeah, I think I have to take that. Dude, this man has maggots dripping from his guts. That is nasty. Oh, that is nasty. Whew, McCoy got speared. Got his arms cut off, his legs cut off. And then probably decapitated lastly, because that's kind of how the necromorphs do it. She's just a dead corpse. <laughs> Look at the ragdoll physics, man. Just stomp these legs off. I know it seems cruel, but uh... If you know what you know, like I know what I know that occurs later on in this game, you're gonna wanna do this. <laughs> Just say it. You're gonna wanna stomp on these bodies, even though they were once probably beautiful people. Maybe. You're gonna wanna do this. Let's, let's get all this out of the way in case I have to run back here. Yeah. There's nothing that I'm looking to buy right now, so. Alright, cool. What is this? Flamethrower. Ooh, I'll do that. I'll take that. Pick it up. Oh, man. Are you there? How you doing, Hammond? We were attacked. Kendra's Ooh. gone. One minute she was there, and I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. No, you mean I can still do this. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage, and a shock pad from zero-g therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. Bruh. Let me see. Store? No, I still don't have enough to get what I want, I don't think. Oh, I do, what am I saying? Hold on. Let me buy this while I still can. Got the flamethrower schematic. I don't think I need this right now, though. I do want this power node. I wanna upgrade my gear as quickly as possible. Now, where are we supposed to go? This way first. Fine, we'll do it. All have an mode. Right. That's gonna be sick too, seeing how they um do the firing modes. I wonder if there's gonna be any changes, cause uh some of the firing modes were like, eh, I don't really need them, you know. The big thing is that you really only need this plasma cutter, so that's the big thing. The music is getting very intense right now. Come on, open up. Whoa, is there something behind me? Yeah, hold up. Yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. All right, we're good. Why am I worried? There's so much light here. Oh, what the heck? 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, they were experimenting on necromorphs before um before everything went to hell. I'm just making note of all of the vents cuz you know how this Yep, we starting already. Hazardous anomaly detected. Oh boy. All right, let's find a wall. That's not a wall. That is a vent. Okay, where is my, uh, wait, is it at, okay, it's at number three. Look at how they entered the environment so silently. All right, we're gonna use this. We're gonna use the AK. Nice. Yeah, this will shred them real good. Oh, what's up? How you doing? Oh, hearing all these gargling sounds. Oh, they're downstairs. That's what it is. Come up here. Come get this work. Yeah, where are you? Yeah, come up here. Look at him crawling around. He's he's lame. <laughs> All right, I think we're done, right? No, we're not. Something else is here trying to kill me. It's just not showing up. Because I killed all its butt buddies. Now it doesn't want the smoke. All right, I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. Come on, you got to pop out of one of these vents? Come on. Yeah, I thought so. That's what I thought, bro. That's what I thought. Let me go downstairs, though. You know what? I think they only do that in Dead Space 2. In Dead Space 2, you have to stomp on them to reveal extra loot. I don't think that was in the first game. Something's waiting for me. I hear you. I hear you, you know? Yeah, like something's behind me. Woo! All right, you slow down. You lose your leg. You lose your leg. Something else just entered the room. Isaac, reload. Come on now. I'm mashing the R key. What else? Come on. No, there's something else here. Oh, no, we're good. I don't know, I love doing this. I love the stomp. Now, let's see. Where is the correct way to go? That's the right way. So, I'm gonna just take the time and explore elsewhere before we go in the correct direction. Let's see if we can find any files to pick. Oh, physics, please. I mean, they got some nice looking bathrooms. What is this? They are coming. Oh, okay. Well, clearly they came here. I finally convinced Jurgens to show me the video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious, breathtaking. Miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kind so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. Yep, that's how it starts, man. Yo, listen, if. If I ever catch anybody like that, bro, I'm killing them, dude. What do you mean by that? Like, they... <laughs> wait, no, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said that on YouTube, bro, but... For real, it's always a scientist, dude, starting stuff. Always needing to explore the unknown and take humanity further than they were ever meant what to go. What the is going on down there? I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The marker is glorious and divine. You, you know that. 
God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness, the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. Yeah, okay, William Birkin. Or I would have took that dude out. I would have taken that dude out. Well, we have a text log. Let me see. Marker overview. Personal log of Dr. Kine T, Chief Science Officer. The video logs from the colony are poor quality but the artifact does indeed appear to be a genuine marker, the first to be found in Unitology's 200 year history. I'm eager to get it on board the ship so I can study it properly. The potential here is enormous, not just for me personally, though it's true I've dreamed of such a discovery for decades, but also to humanity and the Church of Unitology in particular. This marker could herald the dawn of a new age for mankind, and I will do my part to ensure it comes to pass. I know the church will be grateful, but the true recognition will come from all of humanity. On this day, we are blessed. Oh yeah, this little marker statue, we're gonna get that in the collector's edition as well, as the helmet and um, all the other posters and stuff like that. Yeah, I also got the uh, Collector's Edition for Callisto Protocol. I feel like that game was going to be a sleeper for some people, though. Uh, some people don't have confidence in it, or I shouldn't say that. Some people are just sleeping on it. Um, I think it's going to be legit, though. And uh, let's check out this room right here. Yeah, Callisto Protocol is going to be legit, man. Um, hold on. Oh, let's see. Let's move this to right here. Right. Okay, cool. I think we've got everything. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me refill that. Oh man, I'm having flashbacks. I know we get chased through here at some point, right? By the stalker enemy. I feel like we do, we definitely do. But what I love is the environmental storytelling because if you pay attention to the environment, it kind of hints at the next necromorph that you're gonna see because they were experimenting on them. Let me hit the save. All right, let's go. Biological Prosthetics Center. Yo, the colors just changed. Whoa, what is this green filter? Come on, come on. Oh, oh man. Oh, you're dead, bro. Hey, look, man, I'll avenge you. I'll avenge you, bro. Listen, listen, it, oof. It's just a flesh wound. We'll be okay. I lied. Dude, this is so creepy. Yo, look at this baby right here. Looking like a polygon. <laughs> oh, necromorph babies. And they got worse in Dead Space 2. Oh, man. That thing made a clean cut. Yeah. Wasn't this also something that they did in um, Alien? Can you eat? Oh! Ooh. Don't jump at me. I was about to say something like, y'all hear the music? Sounded like a lullaby and then this thing decided to just jump out when I had my back turned. Yeah? 
Die. Oof. This is crazy. Why was he even in here? Why were you even in here, my guy? You should have been left. Mm-hmm. Dead? No. You know what? The plasma cutter is more efficient for these guys. Because if you cut the tentacles, they die faster. Oh, you know what? That just dawned on me. It's the same thing in Callisto Protocol. If you cut the tentacles in Callisto Protocol, that's how you stop the um, transformation that some of the enemies have. Uh, these must be all the prosthetic limbs in here. Interesting. Nice. I mean, yo, it makes sense with all these plasma cutters, bro, that people be having, apparently. Like, everybody just has plasma cutter ammo, so everybody clearly has a plasma cutter. I mean, it makes sense. It works. Thermite. Let me not grab that yet. Let me grab this first. Got a power node? Yeah. What else did I get? Thought I got some kind of document just now. How do I cycle through my documents? Is it I? Is it J for journal? Alright. That thermite you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the sharp. Where are the cameras? Where are the cameras, bro? I can hear something big moving out there. Why are you backseating? Actually come down here and help me, Hammond. One. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Play your role. Play your role. You make sure nothing's behind me. Yeah. Always gotta watch out. Always gotta watch your back. Oh. Have that seat. What's my ammo looking like? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Oh no, I need one more part. All right, so let's um buy whatever we can buy. Let's see, um, we don't have enough credits yet, so we can sell this gold semiconductor. We got nothing but plasma energy, not that many pulse rounds. A line gun is available, I could go for that. Do I want that? Do I even need that? Uh, maybe later. We're going to go for the power node. You're in the CEC Imaging Diagnostics Lab. Welcome to the lab. If you have been referred to the lab, please have your referral form and CEC authorization ready. And proceed to the lab office. Thank you, lab staff. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. This guy. This poor guy. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to shoot this guy, Isaac? Yo. Bro, talk. I would have killed this dude. How is he? Oh, snap. Whoa. Dude. That's his whole entire chest is just gone, man. And his guts are all exposed and he was just doing that. I saw that vent. I see you vent. Whoa. All right. Yeah, pull up on me. Watch what happens to you. 
Just pull up on me. Interesting results. A medical log, Dr. Warwick. Uh, chief psych officer. Looks like whoever this is has a tumor. Is that a necromorph? That's a necromorph head. Report of psychiatric observation patient, Harris B, employee. Harris is asleep after another strong sedative. He seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake. Not Harris. His explanation of events on the colony is also odd and points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere planetside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two planetside security officers were present when he took Dr. What? Ciarella hostage and murdered Nurse Evans and he doesn't deny his actions, but he insists there was no crime, nor does he feel guilt. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He is affable and friendly, able to empathize <laughs> and offer original opinions. When questioned about the murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and intransigent, displaying schizophrenic behavior. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again, similar to those experienced by other colonists. Harris claims he threatened the doctor because he had to stop the dreams and the faces, and that he'll kill again to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. A most intriguing case. Dude, I, you know, there's room for a Dead Space game. And you know what, I think they already did this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. There's room for a Dead Space game where it, um takes place as all of this stuff on the Ishimura is going down. But there already is something like that. Uh, I believe it was the light gun game for Dead Space, something like that. There was a light gun game. And um, let me see, Kinesis module, hmm. What do I do for Kinesis? Range, ah, oh, the range. Do I need range on this? I don't really think so. That's not as important. Duration is good. Yeah, we'll do duration and energy on that. And then for the rig, I guess we can upgrade this because we're going to need air eventually. From when we get to those sections where we're out in the vacuum of space. Gotcha. Um, okay, why is it? Targeting that one. What the? Oh, right. I knew that. Duh. Oh, oh crap. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Get this thing off my screen. Oh, that's a. No, it's alive. Why is it just standing there like that? Nah, you stay there. You stay right there. Uh huh. Can your is your tail gone? No. Why is it not chopping off? Yo, how many times did I shoot that thing? I saw that. That's actually wild. Yeah. Just die. Bye bye. Uh, let me cut your head off real quick. Yeah. Stomp on you for good measure. Did that do nothing? There must be another one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You good, bro? Oh. Okay, well, let me uh cut off your arm, cut off your leg. All right, well, I hope you're not just playing dead because um, <laughs> you ain't gonna wake up with no arms, no limbs, bro. <laughs> Woo! Mm hmm. Yeah. I should have been watching for that vent. 
I saw what they did there. That was actually smart. They distracted me from paying attention to the fact that there was a vent by having this dude spaz out. That was brilliant. It's time. All right, we got the pulse round schematic so we can make more ammo. Oh, I know I'm going to be attacked. What? What? Oh. Yeah? Sit down for a second. Why are you still moving? Hurry up and die. Let me restore my stasis energy. And that's a safe spot. I'm definitely going to use that. Let me just, you know what? No, let me leave this right here for now. Whatever. As a matter of fact, you know what? No. When I come back, they're not going to be able to just walk in front of me and then run. And events? Yep, there's a vent right there. Alright, I gotta keep that in mind. Entering yeah? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, cool. They're gonna try to do something stupid on me while I'm in the vacuum of space. They're gonna try to pull something stupid on you, boy. I don't got that much air, though, so I can't mess around. Gotta hurry up and loot up. I'm gonna grab that. Can't grab it. Whatever. All right. As you know, Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. All right. Cool. Just trying to watch my back here. Nice. Your ammo counter will flash red if you can't jump to a surface. All right, zero G. Now, how did that work again? Oh yeah, control. I'm supposed to do something. With these, if I pull this one out, no. Okay, that didn't work. Hold on. See, why do I even? Why would I even want to extend the range? What? I'm sorry. What? What? Oh, I thought I heard something trying to come kill me. And you get in the I'm trying to get this battery in there, man. There we go. Uh, I can't pick that up. Um, hmm. So I don't need this. That can go. I have a lot of this ammo for this weapon. Whatever, I'll hold on to zero whatever that is for now. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Entering zero gravity. Whoa, slow down. Slow down. Where are you going? <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going in the other direction. No, I'm not. How come I... There we go. Getting ready to say, how come I can't move? Whoa, that was quick. Leg, arm, thing. There's another one there. 
Let me just run this way. All right. Let me get on up out of here. Open this up, bro. Did I just go around in a freaking circle? Yes, I did. I quite literally went around in a circle. That just happened. That just happened. Nice. We don't do anything here, I don't think. I think we just go back, yeah. Anything want to jump out at me? Something's going to be here. Something's going to be here, yep. How you doing, buddy? Yep, called it. You just know. Thank goodness the air replenishes itself. Mm-hmm. I didn't forget about that vent. Yeah, I thought I forgot about that vent. Exiting. I didn't forget about that vent. Maybe you guys did. But not me. Nope. Not me. Alright, let me hit the save. Let's get up out of here. It's not going to be that easy. I already know. Come on, send whatever it is you want to send after me. Let me uh, let me move this back that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Just you. Wait. All right, let me just cover my bases. I'm like, why is that body just there like that? I guess they don't just despawn from the environment. See, I know we come back here because of this door being closed. I feel like we do. If memory serves me right. Power nodes. Yeah, I got one. And then we got to go in that room right there and get something. So I'm going to do probably rig. Yeah. Just upgrade my health to the max. Poor guy. I hear that? Uh-huh. Okay, well. It just, uh... I can go straight to hell. Uh -huh. Get off me. Where are you coming from, bro? The heck? Yeah, I'm out, bro. We strafe this corner. Shut up. A vent right there. And let's hit the store. Psych! Don't have enough credits to buy anything. Alright, let's blow our way out of here. You would think he would stand further away from that. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. What? This is senior medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him! Not you hold him down! Christ. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Dude, this hole in the wall, man? I don't know. 
Yo, y'all hear that? Bruh. Bruh. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. I'm not going to spoil anything. This game is going to be so fun when it uh, comes to watching people who haven't played it before. Oh, how are you doing? How are you guys doing? You guys are very easy to kill, though. I'm not really worried about y'all. Y'all sound mean, but you ain't really much. Yeah, y'all sound tough, but it's real easy getting rid of you. What's that? Yeah. Plasma energy. Um... Oh no, that's air recharge. Gonna have to do something with that battery. And let's see. It's probably a vent above me. I'm not even gonna bother looking. It's probably there. Oh no. Okay. I was wrong. Let's get that battery. Let's put this in here. Are you for real, game? The physics. And you just stay. No. Oh. Why can't they just magnetize like they do in Dead? It just did. That's dumb. Well, party went down here. Ooh, don't vomit on me. All right. Oh, I didn't even see you. I actually didn't see that behind me. Great. Sit still. Sit still. No. Shut up. Yeah, you can say hello to my little friend. Give me all the loot. Ah, power lock. That's right. You need a power node. They usually have a ton of ammo inside those things. If I remember correctly, that's how it goes. Uh, there's nothing to pick up, it looks like. I mean, I'm doing great on ammo. Whoa! Hello? Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Oh, no. Wait. I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. Oh! You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Ooh, yo, she ran into Harris, bro. Oh, you know what he probably did? He probably made her whole again. Not the good kind. If there is a good kind. Oh, man. This is the same model as the dude who was banging his head up against the wall in the hallway. Yo, I feel like if I go down here to go and get that loot, I'm going to have a hard time going back. Why do I have to be right? No, stop. Ugh. How did you spawn? Get on the ground. Use your leg. Hurry up. Ugh. 
whatever. Just had to be right. I just had to be right. Oh, line racks. We don't have the line gun. Hmm. Dude, so many people must have just got murdered in their sleep, or... You know what? No. They got taken over by the, um... I forgot the name of that necromorph. We're gonna see it soon. I think it's called the Infector? They must have all got taken out by the Infector in their sleep. I mean, that... You know what? Considering... That's actually a good way to go. That's not that bad for Dead Space. Ooh! What? He's still alive! <laughs> She's just rummaging around in his guts with a cold cleaver. <laughs> yeah? What in the Outlast? That's crazy, man. What in the actual Outlast has been going on here? So, more time. Science log from Dr. Kine. Attention, Captain Matthias B. Benjamin, further to our previous conversation, I ask that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know I am as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency, given the events on the colony. But that's why I ask, what's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study. The causes and effects. In light of a discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Dr. Ciarello and Welland, Planetside, to get their observations. Terrence. I can't tell what's a period or what's a comma because of the, um, the resolution. Kind of looking weird. Uh oh. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Oof. Hmm? Yeah? Come on. I feel like you're a distraction for something that's behind me. Okay. You see how paranoid I get when I play this game? Yo, it's hard to get me, man. You gotta do a lot to catch me with uh, jump scares. Well, not jump scares. Jump scares are always cheap. I'm talking about spawning enemies behind me. It takes a lot. Whenever I enter an elevator, I always look up to see if there's a vent. Just to be on the safe side. Events? See, I can't possibly be attacked right here. Unless I come back and then there's an enemy already here. Uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Okay. This is it. Oh, look at all these guts just hanging on the... The gurney, man. Yikes. What's up? Oh, that's a head. That's a whole head. Yeah? Oof. Is there something in there besides the head, though? Oh, that's body meat. Anything else? No? Okay. Oof. All right, let me hurry up and, uh... Let me hurry up. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh, that's rough. Now, they already revealed this for the remake. The introduction to the infector. Oh, no, I have no stasis right now. It's coming straight for me because I don't have stasis. Oh, run! Woo! Oh, it got a body. No. No. Shut up. Shut up. Die. No. Die. Die. Woo! I got his rig. Nice. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. I know the darker Necromorph are stronger than the average ones. All right. Let me grab the loot. And I'll take that plasma energy. What have we got here? A nice text log. Autopsy report. Let me see. Medical log. Dr. Domus G. Um, report of death on ship. Subject Captain, Math Captain Matthias. It is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin, Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and beyond the scope of my role. I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low. With eosinophilus? E Wait, what? Eosinophilus, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce that. In particular, almost non existent. His pre flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands, indicating a brief struggle pre mortem. Slight contusion around the rib cage, suggesting his chest was restrained in some way cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe causing rapid neurotrauma seizure and death the force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death, whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Wait a minute. Hold up. Arms and hands. He was held down. Yeah, he has a contusion around his ribcage. Prolonged trauma to the head. Right. Well, if it was an infector, he would have been a necromorph, but his body was just there and it was just transformed. So I don't know about that one. Let me just uh, let me just grab this loot. That's here. Look, look at all those markings on the wall, man. It's it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Our node, nice. Of course, we got to go deeper inside the ship. Of course. Events? No. Did I reload this? Oh boy. All right, hold up. Okay, this is where we came down to, yeah, the first. I don't remember, you know what, hold on. Hold on, I see what they're doing here. Hold up, you know what? Let me just uh I see what they're doing here. Oh. Now you gotta be cautious of these corpses. Can you lose your last leg, please, sir? There we go. Who's next? You? Come on. 
Come on. We're right. We're right there. Yeah? You don't want to? All right. Well, whatever. Still don't want to play along. All right. Let's, uh... Let's crush this body. Uh-huh. I'm going to be doing this in the remake, too, so get used to it. Just lose your head. I don't want to shoot it and waste my ammo. Yeah, there we go. As a matter of fact, you know what? I think if I just take off the heads, it might be fine. Anyone else? Any other corpses want some? Got the smoke for all of you. Uh-huh. Nothing else. All right, let's go. Oh, crap. What? I heard that. And they getting me, bro. And you know there's an infector nearby. Because that's a dark-skinned necromorph. Do we really go back this way? Yeah. Shh. Ambient noises. It's just ambient noises. Sh oh! Oh! Somehow one of them found a way down. Freaking to Hammond, bro. I might to contain it in a damage escape pod. Lifting executive lockdown now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> got problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Bruh. Bro, this man. This man is dumb. Yo, you are embarrassing all of my people. In case y'all were wondering, I'm black. You are embarrassing the whole race, Hammond. The whole race, bro. All right, smooth sailing, we out of here. That was chapter two. I know the next chapter gets pretty crazy as well, but chapter two is one of the most memorable ones for sure. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond. 